Hey everyone, today I want to show you inside our cabling van. Uh, these are This has all the tools that we use uh, every time we're out on an installation, whether that's for cable or cameras or Wi-Fi or anything like that. So let's jump right in. So on the outside, uh, we've got a big floodlight up top along with a strobe light. And there's another one on the back. Uh, that light's handy for working at night. In uh, upstate New York here, it's getting dark around 4.30, so that's always nice to have. Um, over here, this is one of my favorite features on the outside, we have this really nice drop-down ladder rack, which lets me access our extension ladder super easily. This is, I believe, a 20-foot extension ladder. Um, it's about the biggest we can get without it being super hard to get inside. Over here we have, I think, that is a 10 or 12 foot uh, step ladder. I use that all the time as well. There's the other strobe light. Now I get a lot of questions about this thing. This is actually an air powered or a wind powered uh, vent fan. So um, our tools like to rust when they sit inside here, especially in the winter or when it's damp. Uh, and this, along with a vent that I'll show you in a second, uh, cycles air through the van all the time, even when it's parked, so that the uh, moisture gets sucked out. Let's take a quick look inside the cab here. So uh, right off the bat, we have a thousand watt power inverter that lives down here that powers some lights, which I'll show you in a second, and some other gear. Uh, up here, we have some gloves. Uh, that, along with these uh, cleaning wipes and hand sanitizer are super important right now, November of 2020. But these are also handy uh, for when we're working on security cameras. We can aim them and move them around without worrying about smudging up the lens. These are shoe covers or booties. Um, wear those when I'm doing uh, you know, residential work or working in a place that's has nice floors and I don't want to get mud and you know tracked in. Uh, what else is in here? Pens, pencils. This is my workhorse. This is a Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab Active 2 with uh, LTE and I've got this little uh, handheld strap case thing to go with it. Whoops. Uh, and inside here I have an Ethernet to USB-C adapter so that combined with the fact that this thing has LTE uh, makes it a really powerful tool for network diagnostics, uh, aiming cameras, just doing research on suppliers, that sort of thing. I can mount it in there if I want to use it as a GPS, which I do all the time. And with this case here, I have this shoulder strap so I can carry this thing up a ladder to aim cameras or whatever. Um, not much over here, just some change for parking meters, this is for my glasses, this is for my breath. And these are controls for the uh, floodlight, the amber strobe lights, and this actually controls the uh, backup beeper, because sometimes when I'm backing into my home driveway, I don't want that to go off. Um, tissues, safety glasses and sunglasses, and some earplugs, and then over here, um, yellow vest, rain jacket, and a hat. Oh, this, every car should have this. This is a glass breaker and a seat belt cutter. Super, super important if you are ever in an accident. Um, definitely keep one of those in every car. Let's head into sort of the main event back here, through the side door. We've got a fire extinguisher and a first aid kit. They're both ready to go right inside the door in case there's ever an issue. And then right inside here, we have my main toolbox. So let me shut this a little bit so there's not a lot of wind. So um, here are the lights that the inverter uh, is powering. Little, that one's out there, but that's fine. Um, oh, and there's a solar panel on the roof. So the battery gets topped off so that when we have these lights on, it's not killing the battery. Anyways. That inverter also powers, this is a two-way radio charger and uh, battery chargers for our cordless tool system. This is an organizer that comes with me in just about every job. So we've got, you know, screws, um, RJ45 shielded and unshielded, uh, cable clamps, these little uh, grommets for entryways, 
Um, these are Tapcon screws for concrete, cable boots, sometimes I do coax, um, you know, all different sizes of cable clamps, etc. etc. So I use that all the time, and that fits perfectly right there. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go through my tools now. These are the tools that uh, work for me. They get the job done. You might use a different set of tools. You might like a different brand, and that's okay. All right, up here, screwdrivers, driver bits, hole saws, drill bits, uh, security bit set, and a little um, like fine bit set for this thing, uh, precision bit set. Um, that's handy for different types of security cameras, other little tech equipment. This is one of the drawers I go to the most. This has our little cable verifier, crimp tool. Um, this is an electrical outlet tester. I'm not an electrician, but um, sometimes, you know, we run into weird power issues and this will at least let me test if an outlet is properly wired. And if it's not, we can tell the client that they need to call an electrician. Same idea with this voltmeter here. Uh, some serial cables for old network switches. This is a really cheap butt set. Uh, yes, I know there's nicer ones, but I use this maybe once a year. Gets the job done. If you call this phone number at the bottom, it reads your phone number you're calling from uh, back to you. So handy when I'm working with customers that have multiple analog lines. Uh, cheap little coax crimper. Again, I don't do coax that often. That's a coax stripper. Uh, flash drive, super handy to have. Uh, snips or shears, or whatever you want to call them, for um, stripping or cutting wire. Uh, little patch cables for the verifier. This is really cool. This is a, um, I think Cable Matters, yeah, Cable Matters makes this. This is a stand for terminating um, punch down RJ45 uh, keystone blocks. So it can hold three different kinds. We usually use the kind that fits in B here. And this makes it really easy to either hold it or set it down on the ground so it's not you know, rolling around when you are punching it down with our punch down tool. Uh, this is also really cool. This is a cable comb. Um, you can probably figure out how it works just by looking at it, but if we wanna wrap cables into bundles, you know, we stick them in here, put this ring around it so they don't escape. And then um, as you pull this along, it'll comb the cables into a nice bundle and uh, you can Velcro them together. All right, next, uh, measuring and marking. Measure twice, cut, runs, right? Um, Sharpie, uh, this is a laser level, stud finder um, level for when we're hanging racks. This is just you know, various squares for measuring, tape measure, uh, pencil, uh, where is it? Here. This is actually one of my favorite tools, and it's just a pencil. Um, but it's the Dixon Reach, and what's cool about this is it's really skinny at the top here. And when you extend it, it's even skinnier. So if you are marking, you know, where you need to hang, like, a, um, drill holes for mounting a camera or some other type of equipment, um, this can get in, like, little tiny spaces and tiny holes. So that's super handy. I always keep that with me. Another Sharpie, center punch. Um, this is lead for this. And then this is also a super handy tool to have when we're doing site surveys. So this is, come on. Put this case back later. This is a uh, laser distance measure. So I can, you know, point it over there. And I am 6.6 .6 feet away. So if we're estimating, you know, how much cable uh, we need for a job. That's a quick and dirty way to do it. Alrighty. Next, I carry two label makers. Uh, this is uh, our Brady label maker. This is really good for either really large labels. You can see that's a three-quarter inch label in there. Or what I usually use this for is for self-laminating labels. So this is for labeling uh, cables and that sort of thing. And then for cheaper things, if we're just labeling, you know, a, a wall jack or, you know, a pat, I, I don't know, something that isn't, doesn't need the precision and super sticky labels of this thing, um, we will use the white plastic, very important labels in this Dymo. Um, I've had this thing for at least a decade. Um, it's super rock solid. I love it. 
This works in combination with our vent fan, which you can see now back there, uh, to keep moisture out of our toolbox. I have to replace that every 30 days. And it really does work. Um, I can't find these at Lowe's, but they sell them at uh, Home Depot here in the US. Alrighty, uh, this is sort of the random drawer of stuff that I don't use all that often. Um, this is a super cheap socket set. Again, I don't use it that often. These are blades for a reciprocating saw, which I'll get to later. Um, snips, if I need to, you know, cut um, drop ceiling T-bar or whatever. Flush cutters for zip ties. Very important. Please flush cut your zip ties. Even if it's with a cheap little cutter like this from Harbor Freight, it works great. Gets the job done. Uh, very small pliers, along with very large pliers. Um, this is a cheap little hacksaw. If I need to cut conduit in a pinch or whatever, I can do it with that. Cheap wrench. Use it sometimes. Long reach pliers. This is handy if a cable gets lost in a wall or something like that. I use that every now and then. Drywall saw for uh, cutting holes for low voltage brackets, and a uh, nice little utility knife there. Refills for the utility knife. All right, this is the power tools. These are the toys. So this is a Bosch, um, I think the newest version of this is called the Freak. Uh, it is actually a half inch impact wrench that is also a standard hex impact driver. Um, it's two in one. Uh, this is their, I think, 18 volt system. Bosch drill. This is a hammer drill. So if I need to, you know, drill one or two holes inside of um, some concrete block or some brick, I'll do it real quick with this. Gets the job done. If that doesn't work, I have another tool for that. I'll show you in a little bit. Um, I have four batteries. That is usually plenty. Um, honestly, I don't think I've ever killed a battery with a drill or a driver on a job. It's usually. If a battery ever dies, it's usually because I'm using this, which is a super bright cordless floodlight. Again, super great to have if you're working after dark or if you're working in a dark building. I always have a flashlight, headlight. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, this is an LED powered uh, spotlight with two power levels. All right, that's the main toolbox. Let me turn around here and be super graceful about it. Uh, hard hat and tool belt. So we have a drill holster on here with a little bag for holding cable clamps. And then this is a little electrician's pouch, good for screws, little tools. I'll just put that down there, that sort of thing. I'll deal with that later. Uh, what's next? This was actually in the cab when I bought the van, but I moved it back here. This was a filing cabinet, but I turned it into a uh, trash can with some recycling. That's really handy to have if, you know, I make a bunch of garbage on the job or if I'm eating takeout. That's always nice. Um, this is a little tripod stool. I like to sit on that when I'm putting tools back in the toolbox. And then this is a really ginormous snow brush, which you need when you have a really ginormous van. Um, Alrighty, so we're moving over to the front of the shelves here. I guess I'll just start at the top. So this is our uh, magna pool. This is really great for pulling wires inside walls. So basically, uh, eh, these are hello. These are two really strong magnets, um, and you drop this first one. Oh my goodness. So you drop this one uh, down the inside of a wall, and then you use this, which is another extremely strong magnet, and you pull it down uh, through the wall. So that's super great if you're getting around you know, fiberglass insulation, or even if it's just a hollow wall, good way to speed things up. And then this chain, uh, if you drop the chain down, it can get, you know, if there's um, armored cabling in the wall or whatever that you need to get around, if you jiggle this chain around, it'll usually fall past it. So that's what... That's what that's for there. Up here is our laser line. So this is sort of another entry in the crazy tool category. This is actually a modified paintball gun uh, that shoots pull strings. So there's little orange pull string in, in that little canister, um, CO2 powered, and it shoots these darts here uh, with a canister or with a pull string attached to it. Um, if you're pulling cables through an empty space, that's a good way to do it. 
Super quick and easy, saves time, especially if I'm working by myself. All right, um, this shelf is all cables. So we've got uh, outdoor uh, Ubiquiti Tough Cable Cat 5E, UV rated, shielded, uh, weatherproof, all that good stuff. That's what we use pretty exclusively when we're installing things outside. Cat 5E, there's usually two of each. Um, that one ran out, there's another one on the way. And then this is Cat 5E just shielded. So um, I like running shielded cable even indoors when it's PoE equipment or camera or that sort of thing. Little sanitizing station, again, it's November 2020. So if I need to, you know, wipe, I, I like to wipe down my tools in addition to sanitizing it because I'm kind of a germaphobe. Uh, it's good to have clean tools, you know. Down here, we've got a ladder stabilizer for the extension ladder, a couple of empty containers, a uh, tool bag, and then there's a tool belt, another tool belt buried back there somewhere. I don't use that that often. All right, let's move over here. So these are all of our little hardware storage boxes. These you can get at the dollar store. They're meant for uh, organizing soda cans inside fridge. Um, so I bought a bunch of these to use here. They fit perfectly, they work great. Um, so we've got, you know, new patch cables. We've got used patch cables. If I, you know, if a customer wants one, I'll just give one of those to them. Uh, keystone boxes, uh, wall plates. Um, there's some Decora wall plates somewhere back there. There we go. Um, I already talked about the biscuit boxes. Over here, we have uh, low voltage brackets. I, I never actually use these. I just, I don't know why I have one. I don't, I don't, don't use this. Use these, use these ones. Um, snap toggles. These are, in my opinion, the best toggle bolts. They can hold uh, way more weight than you will ever need. Um, I think um, Project Farm has a great video going over the different um, toggle bolts. So I'll use these. That's for the toggle bolts. Drywall anchors if I'm mounting something light. This is for creating cable tethers. So if there's an adapter that has to you know, stay with a cable, um, you can tether the adapter to the cable or if you need to tether a keyboard to a computer, uh, this is a nice way to make sure that uh, those adapters or devices don't uh, walk away on their own. Over here, um, J-hooks, standard ones. Um, these are the like hammer-on, hammer-on beam clamp kind. You like, you know, find a flat beam that's usually this way and you hammer it on and it grabs on. Got some bridle rings, two inches, along with some uh, beam clamp hardware back there. Spare PVC fittings. Uh, usually, if I'm installing PVC conduits, three quarter inch. So I just keep a bag. You know, I have some couplers, random stuff. Um, this strap stuff, just good to have around. A couple of uh, empty bins over here. Okay, uh, trash bags. Clean up after yourself. So we have trash bags. We have a shop vac hanging right there. We always clean up after ourselves. Very important. Um, this is an endoscope or a little gooseneck camera. If I'm working in a wall and something's stuck, um, rather than just getting angry and jiggling the you know wire fish over and over again, I can stick this in the wall and see what's actually happening and fix it. I always keep a really like crappy, cheap old VGA monitor and keyboard in here. Uh, this is good for, you know, if, if a customer calls me in and they have like one of those old um, video recorders or if it's some old server or whatever, I can, I can plug in and diagnose really quickly and easily. Plumbing cones for inside. If I'm working on a ceiling, those are good to have because people don't watch where they're walking sometimes. That gets their attention. Giant, huge bucket of polyline. That's some old cable I keep around here. And then down here is all the long stuff. So this is a stand for a cordless light. Um, plastic sheeting, again, keeps things clean if we're being dusty. Um, yardstick, helpful for various things. Tarp, if we're outside and it starts raining, I can throw a tarp over things. Um, I call this the reachy grabby thing. It's good for reaching inside of walls and grabbing things. This is a distance measuring wheel. Um, again, handy for 
uh, you know, estimating cable runs. Right, move over here. This is an angle grinder. Um, I'll use it for cutting threaded rod or that sort of thing. Um, this is our SDS. This is our hammer drill. Star Electric is no longer in business. That is why I own this now. Um, yeah, so this was fun to use. Um, but yeah, we have you know all sorts of different sizes for if it's just a screw or for pulling a cable through a brick wall or whatever. Um, this can really blast through concrete and brick really, really quickly. Um, takes a you know a minute or so to set up, but um, very very handy if we're doing a lot of concrete cable runs. Oh boy! Stay. Uh, I'm not going to take this down right now, but this is a Bosch cordless reciprocating saw. Again, if I, it's just good to have. Um, I use it occasionally. In here, we have a old, you old school, um, I think it's an APLR, old uh, Unify access point. Sometimes if we're on a site, um, it's just good to spin up a wireless network really quick. Um, for you know various reasons depending on what we're doing so I keep that in there This I used to have a cheap wire fish, but and this was expensive This is like a hundred some dollar wire fish. I think but boy was it worth it um, This is it's non-metallic the end glows in the dark. It's bright green. It's somehow both stiff and flexible I don't know what it's made of um, but it's the south wire sim pool non-conductive fish tape um yeah, it's it's very very nice. 125 feet. Yeah, so very very handy to have. Close that up. The previous owner of the van built this weird piano hinge thing, but it works. All right, in here, PPE. Very very important stuff. Earplugs. Um, you know, if I have somebody with me, in addition to my earplugs in front of the van, in the front of the van, I have that. Um, oh. Something really handy, keep a doorstop with you. If you're carrying like a server rack or a bunch of boxes through a door, it's always nice to stop it open for a couple minutes. Uh, I do a lot of work outside, so that's nice to have here in upstate New York. A couple of pairs of gloves. Um, yeah, that's in there. Need that sometimes. Sunscreen. Then I have another PPE drawer over here. So we have, uh, this is actually, this is a respirator that is specifically designed for silica dust. So when you're doing a bunch of drilling with an SDS or just any kind of drilling into concrete, it can create a lot of silica dust, which is super dangerous. Um, and this is designed to filter that out specifically. Obviously you can filter out just other general dust and debris. Uh, knee pads, one time I had to work in a crawl space that had gravel and I regretted not having knee pads, so now I own knee pads. Um, ibuprofen, caution tape, uh, earmuffs, sometimes those are nicer than wearing earplugs. Tape, all kinds of tape, electrical tape, uh, these little like stripey ones that are colored, um, these are really good if you are pulling, you know, two box, two cables at a time, uh, you can mark them different colors and uh, you'll know at the other end uh, which one's which, just make sure to mark the box too, sometimes I forget. Duct tape, um, gaff tape, handy for various things. This is 3M VHB tape, or if you buy it at Lowe's, it's called Scotch Extreme Mounting Tape. Um, this is extremely strong stuff. They use it to bond um, aluminum walls to the sides of 52-foot trailers. So um, this is good for a number of various things. Masking tape. Okay, yes, sometimes I use zip ties. Why? If I'm outside, uh, if I'm zip tying something to, you know, an, an antenna mast of some kind, there are valid reasons to use zip ties. Usually, I like to use Velcro. Um, I like cutting it to length. That's just my preference. I have also some hose clamps in here if I'm mounting a camera to a pole. Tucked away. Okay. In here we have uh, waterproofing stuff. So this is duct seal. We've got silicone. We've got um, well, this is this is super glue. Um, dielectric grease. This is good for uh, outdoor, you know, Ethernet connections. 
Um, obviously you want to do more than this. You should use a waterproof connector if you can, but if you use it in conjunction with dielectric grease, that will keep moisture out of the connector and help keep it from corroding. I think I said silicone already. And then this is fire barrier. Um, so anytime we go through a firewall, we seal it back up. Obviously you want to make sure that it's the uh, right rating. This is rated for up to four hours. So that is absolutely plenty for most places. And then again, keeping with the theme of keeping our customers places clean, we have some all purpose cleaner, paper towels, uh, this is hand cleaner. Sometimes I have my hands dirty and I want to go eat lunch, so that works in a pinch. Microfiber and shop rags, smaller microfiber for uh, cleaning camera lenses or my glasses, whatever. And then these are uh, little strips of magic eraser, so if I make marks on a wall or if something gets scuffed, uh, that cleans that up really quick. This is an intentionally empty shelf. You can see it's labeled project. So if I have a customer that ordered, you know, a bunch of small stuff, I can throw it in these boxes here. It keeps them from flying around on the floor when I'm driving. I always keep a case of water. Sometimes there's not a public water fountain, whatever. Um, oh, this, I use this all the time. This is a seven foot ladder. I found most people don't have, um, only have six or eight foot ladders, and this is a seven foot, and I found it's a super convenient height. I uh, use it almost every time. Undo this real quick. This is the bin I never want to be in. This is uh, jumper cables, a recovery strap, road flares. Uh, sometimes I happen upon other accidents, which has happened a couple of times, and I need road flares, emergency poncho, uh, tire inflator, uh, some motivational Top Gear references there. Um, that's about all that's in there. Moving on to the back door of the van now. Um, these are reflectors, but they're not super reflective, so I put these here. Um, so sometimes I'm parked at night, and again, people don't always watch where they're going. Uh, the EFF is a great organization. Look them up if you don't know who they are. Anyways. Um, Again, you know, stuff I use fairly often, I keep right at the back, so extension cords. Uh, this is, uh, I think, a 75-foot Ethernet cable. Keep that there just in case. Um, Three-step step ladder, super, super handy to have. Use it all the time. Bungee cords, you know, if I have some super large boxes in here, I'll secure them down so they don't go flying around. Traffic cones, sometimes I'm parked in a busy place or there's some other reason I might want to block, you know, a part of a parking lot off or whatever. This plus the caution tape is great for that. Uh, again, shop vac and tiny uh, dust broom and dust pan. And then these are our fish sticks. Uh, and I think that is it. Oh, we have a, I don't know if I mentioned the dash cam. There is a dash cam that is also rear facing. Uh, in case I'm ever in an accident. And there is also a uh, backup cam, uh, which is extraordinarily handy to have. Uh, so that is it. That is what is currently in our cargo van. Again, you might like a different set of tools. That's okay. And also, uh, there's some stuff that we keep at the home office that's not in here, like a big old uh, PVC conduit oven, some other stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's our van. That's what we use on just about every job. And uh, this is our website. If you are in central New York and you need help with uh, networking, video surveillance, uh, phone systems, that sort of thing, please go to our website, give us a call. Thanks.